The Force isn't the only thing strong with this one. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Mark Hamill voice performances. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the voice work of this prolific actor and voice actor across multiple media, including film, television, and video games. That's not true! That's impossible! Number 10. Senator Stampingston, Metalocalypse. These freaks, as you call them, are currently worth billions. As a voice actor, Hamill is perhaps best known for his portrayal of menacing and devious villains, and Senator Stampingston is no exception. Metalocalypse followed the fictional death metal band Death Clock, and opposed to these rockers was a shady and mysterious group known as the Tribunal. Gentlemen, it appears as if Death Clock is back. As the primary member, Stampingston was featured in most episodes. Hamill's stoic, devious portrayal brought a foreboding and dangerous sense to the Tribunal, while being in stark opposition to the less logical members of the group, who had the tendency to fly off the handle. Dr. Galkinsmoker, please behave yourself! Number 9. Alvin the Treacherous, DreamWorks Dragons. We're there for one man, the Dragon Conqueror. Based on the popular film How to Train Your Dragon, the Dragons TV show expanded on an already great franchise. The show added to the lore set up in the first film in a number of ways, which included bringing in a human antagonist, Alvin the Treacherous. <coughs> this exiled Viking sought revenge against the village of Burke and its chief stoic. Alvin managed to be an imposing presence, while somehow also bringing in a bit of humor as the nemesis to the series' heroes. Oh, Heather, I'm waiting. In later seasons, Alvin became a more complex character and shifted from complete villain into more of an anti-hero role. And Hamill's voice work made the transition seamless. Losing everything tends to make a man say things differently. Number 8. Wolverine X2 Wolverine's Revenge There was no reason to do what they did. No reason at all. It may surprise some to know that Hamill lent his voice to one of Marvel's most famous mutants, Wolverine, in video game form. Ever the chameleon of voice roles, Hamill brought the gruffness and grittiness that Wolverine is known for to this video game, which, despite being released to tie in to X-Men 2, was an original story that incorporated the larger Marvel Universe. You're a dead man! How can a dead man kill? Along with his tough persona, Hamill managed to bring a sense of wonder and discovery to Wolverine as he attempted to piece together his mysterious past. You hurt me! Number 7. Adrian Ripburger, Full Throttle. What could possibly be taking so long? This point and click video game stood out for many others during this era as it featured an experienced and well known voice cast, with Hamill serving as the primary antagonist. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. The scheming and manipulative Rip Burger is the vice president of a motorcycle company in the not-so-distant future, who aims to take control of the business with an evil plan involving betrayal and murder. Perhaps worst of all, he would change the company to produce minivans. The poorly minivan. Despite graphical and technological limitations of the time, Hamill gives a great performance in this cult classic. Now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. Number 6. Darth Bane, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Do you know who I am? Although Luke Skywalker has become one of the most iconic heroes of all time, Hamill's voice acting career primarily consists of villain roles. In the final episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars, Hamill got to turn to the dark side as the Sith Lord Darth Bane. You must kill me to gain my place. Fans of Bane, who had a rich history in the non-canonical expanded universe, were surely glad to see his canon appearance in the Clone Wars. The fact that Hamill provided the character's voice was just the icing on the cake, making for an unforgettable episode of the series. You do not fear me. No. Exist. You do not anymore. Number 5. Muska, Castle in the Sky. Well, well, looks like we caught a little princess. When Hayao Miyazaki's 1986 adventure film Castle in the Sky was first released in America, 
it received a hastily thrown together low budget dub that failed to impress many. As Miyazaki started to gain a following in the United States, however, it received a much better voice dub, bringing in actors like Anna Paquin, James Vanderbeek, and of course, Mark Hamill. The force of the sacred light has brought the robot back to life! As Colonel Muska, Hamill brought a sense of evil and despair to one of the few characters in Miyazaki's films that was wholly unredeemable, filled with greed and unrelenting ambition. At the same time, Muska was also an incredibly fun villain, and that's largely because Hamill is so good at being bad. Why don't you give me the stone and the girl will live? Otherwise, I'll kill her. Number 4. The Hobgoblin, Spider-Man And you're right on time for your funeral. It shouldn't come as a shock to anybody that Hamill, who has voiced a number of villainous comic book characters, appeared as one of Spider-Man's greatest foes in this awesome 90s cartoon. Finders keepers, losers weepers. <laughs> in a show with a number of straight-laced villains, Hobgoblin stood out thanks to his unhinged nature, perfectly portrayed by Hamill's manic voice work. Sorry, but there's no profit to be made in my own annihilation. Hobgoblin proved to be a great foil for Spider-Man, as well as a number of other villains, betraying them and acting highly unpredictable every step of the way. This made him such an interesting and out of the ordinary foe, and he stole every scene he was in. Talk, or I'll give your right hand man his severance pay. Number three, Fire Lord Ozai, Avatar, The Last Airbender. You will learn respect, and suffering will be your teacher. Airing on Nickelodeon, Avatar featured impactful themes and a number of complex characters. The show's main villain was no exception, and Hamill brilliantly portrayed a man obsessed with obtaining absolute power by any means necessary. You will obey me, or this defiant breath will be your last. As Ozai, Hamill managed to convey a terrifying and intimidating character bent on world domination, with little regard for anything other than his own ambition. I and the Phoenix King. He proved relentless in his pursuit for power, usurping the throne from his grieving brother and literally scarring his son, Prince Zuko. Even when the Fire Lord was kept hidden in the shadows, Hamill's voice was more than enough to send a shiver up our spines. Get out! Number two, Skips, regular show. You guys shouldn't be doing what you just did. Every once in a while, Hamill will play a good guy. And in the world of regular show, who is a better guy than Skips? Okay, I'm here, and I brought my base. More often than not, Mordecai and Rigby find themselves in a tough situation. So they call upon their immortal Yeti friend to get them out of trouble. Climb up top, but don't press start until I say. Hamill manages to convey a wise and impressive figure that consistently seems to know the mysteries of the universe. It's no wonder that Skips has become such a popular character, with Hamill's zany attitude being a perfect fit for the show's surreal and off-the-wall style. We'll have this place cleaned up in no time, right Skips? Eh, I've seen worse. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. That is nobody here, you idiot. I told you those coordinates were wrong. Knock it off, Genie. I'm warning you. Well, I just ripped out a monster's tongue. Number one. The Joker, the DC animated universe. Hey, Batman! You sing so bad I can smell you from here! <laughs> Few voice actors are as closely tied to iconic roles as Mark Hamill is to the Joker, playing the part in multiple films, TV shows, and video game adaptations for the better part of three decades. Despite multiple highly accomplished voice actors playing the part before and since Hamill's take on the role, he will always be synonymous with the villain. Not on my show. Hamill manages to walk the tightrope between insane madman and devious mastermind with his frighteningly good voice work. Big old bats has fallen down. <laughs> I'm so happy. His over-the-top laughter, bad puns, and general menace provide a perfect foil to Batman or any number of other DC superheroes that the Joker has gone up against over the years. Hello, Operator! I believe my party's been disconnected. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.